Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker, Cultivating the Learning. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can set conditional formatting so that visually you can see when a number is within a certain threshold. So you can see in column K here how different student scores are colorized differently. Um, and what this is set for is map scores that are within a certain um, criteria. And these are just generic numbers for where a student should be in the fifth grade, in the fourth grade, third grade, second grade, and then below second grade. So right now, if I filter out, if I clear my filter and I assign just fifth grade and I hit OK, I can see very quickly that I have some fifth graders that are in the fourth, fourth grade range. I have some that are in the third grade. I have some in second grade and I have some in first grade or below second grade. So this would be really important if you were going to do an all grade, like work to walk to read or walk to add um, or walk to calculate. Um, and so the conditional formatting, of course, you could you could um, sort these and then just colorize them yourself, but then you'd have to do it one, two, three, four, five, six different times with multiple sorts. And this is just so much easier. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to remove my conditional formatting and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay. So I'm deleting each one of these. Now, one thing that is really valuable that I think you're going to like knowing is Notice this green line right here. Um, that green line is there because I applied a filter and it only went to the end of uh, column O. And because of that, this data over here does not move when I sort these columns. So if I click on data analysis and probability and I sort from Z to A or backwards, these are still sitting right where they were. And if I go in the opposite direction, these are still sitting where they were. So that's really nice to know. So all you have to do if you're not familiar with that is um, click on, I should probably take this filter off, select all. So I'm going to, um, if I click on the one and then I attack, click on the filter, notice right now the filter is coming all the way over to here. I want to make sure that it doesn't. So I'm going to drag it back over. Oh, it's not letting me. All right, so I've already applied it. I'm not going to undo it. All right, so um, what I had to do, though, was once I applied that filter, I had to click on here and I had to insert one to the right so that I would have these columns to work with. Okay, so I'm going to delete that column for now. Okay, so let's say we're working for algebra. We want to do um, walk to walk to do algebra, and that means that the entire school is going to be all mixed up. So fourth graders can be with fifth graders, third graders can be with fourth graders, etc. cetera. Um, it might just be a grade-wide thing where fifth graders who are in, um, who are learning at the third grade level would all go to the same classroom, etc. So I select my column and I'm gonna go to format because it's a formatting issue, conditional formatting. And this window opens up on the right-hand side. So once I have this window, um, the range, because I selected the entire column, the range is selected for me. I want it to tell me um, that it is greater than or equal to a certain number, and I'm going to choose this 222 as my value. So I'm just going to type in 222, and then I'm going to apply a color. So I need more than three colors, so I'm going to have to go here and choose it myself, and I'm just going to choose purple for my first one. And then instead of hitting done, I'm going to hit add another rule. And then I'm going to choose the 214 as my breaking point. And I'm going to choose the next color, which is blue. And then add another rule. It's still going to be greater than or equal to. This time it's going to be 206. I'm going to choose a different color. This time it'll be green. Add another rule. Greater than or equal to is, is still the default. 196, choose my color, and I'm just going right down the road here. Yellow, add another rule, and then instead of doing greater than or equal to, I'm gonna do 
is less than because that means that they're not making the second grade cut and this is second through fifth grade so at that point i'm going to choose a shade of red so that it stands out and then i'm going to hit done so now when i sort this it should it should sort in blocks of color so that i can see that these are all the kids who need to be pulled to work on red all the red kids should work together all the yellow kids should work together but here's the problem we do we have fourth and fifth graders who are not going to want to be stuck working with second graders so that will be up to a stool, school to um, figure out you know how to group them if we have enough fourth and fifth graders um, what i could do here is i could say okay well i'm going to remove second and third and i want fourth and fifth to all be together so this is a big enough group that i could for sure uh, separate them and be working with them together okay so that's conditional formatting ways you can use it let's say you have a bank account and you want to you want to get a visual reminder anytime it goes down a certain level like if it passes a threshold um, because you have to have so much money in an account or maybe you want to be given a visual reminder um, when you are close to running out of money um, or maybe a student has had too many tardies all of conditional formatting can be applied to all of those situations um, and it works the same for all of them select it go to format conditional formatting and then set your parameters um, i do want to show you one more thing when you hit add another rule these are uh, broken down into um, text information dates and then numbers and you can also do a custom formula so just look through them carefully so that you find the one that you actually need that works best for you if you found this helpful please click on the thumbs up below the video